Good morning, folks. We're beginning with a shot of the day and a question the experts can't answer. This is Messier 5. In addition to being one of the most beautiful and popular sites for astronomers, due to the relative proximity of the cluster to our galaxy, it is one of the older known clusters and one of the largest. However, nobody at NASA or the ESA has any explanation for why we're only seeing young stars. If it is as old as they think, they all agree they should be seeing a saturation of old red stars and remnants, but we see a plethora of young blue stars amidst the G-types. Moving on, folks, it took a while, but the next Uyen system candidate has come through. By a while, I mean the storm system intensified by the flare took an extra whole 24 hours for the Typhoon Warning Center to release an actual warning. The West Pacific system has been under the watchful eye here for two days since the flare, and if I'm not mistaken, he brought a little backup. Powerful lows connected in the Pacific, and one is the growing Uyen storm candidate number six. Slightly south of there, the convergences at the south should be easy to pick out. Cloud overlay on the wind map shows what happens at that bunching in New Zealand and South Central Australia. Somewhat difficult to see is the low at the southern coast of the UK. While the low pressure point is there, the general trough extends south to Italy and the convergence along with it. As with all convergences, that's where a good bit of the storms are today. Cloud overlay helping once more. In the US, same story tonight with severe weather warnings due to converging air masses in the central states. They've got different temperature, potential, pressure, and moisture. Humidity overlay shows how little those clashing masses have in common. It'll shift east tonight, so watch the warnings. We're now looking at the sun and 1700 angstroms of light via the Solar Dynamics Observatory. This is north departing on the disk and we have the birth of a sunspot group. We pointed this out in the evening news last night on the website. Hasn't produced any flares though and isn't growing as fast as it's heading out of sight. As you may have guessed from yesterday's report, the solar flaring remains low across the board. Very low. Sunspot numbers were two to three times higher seven to ten days ago when we had those two sun diving comets as well. But now we'll look to the limb for more sunspots incoming on both the north and the south. So with the sunspots calm, but ready to ramp back up with more coming on the limb. How about the solar wind? Very calm here, but also ready to ramp back up with the coronal hole stream on its way. Until it arrives, we're all calm at Spaceship Earth. Speaking of coronal holes, the current opening departs with a southern negative spinning in next. The departing group is regaining power upon its exit. Lucky us as its quake watch while it faced Earth was moderate only and we see weakness to the incoming coronal hole. As for the Earth-facing disk, we had no eruptions, just the baby spots being born up top. The exiting coronal hole that set its stream our way could have impact tonight or early tomorrow. And the primary eruption threat today is actually not a sunspot, but a filament. That thin, dark, snake-like rope hovering above the solar surface is a plasma filament that could erupt upon the slightest destabilization. Quick note to website members. End of April special video comes out here pretty soon. It's called Electric Earth and Sun. We discussed that topic a bit with Jerry Estrada yesterday on Fly on the Wall, along with recaps and updates of the top news of the week like the Cold Star Discovered, Polar Vortex video, El Nino coming, and much more. Remember last week Dr. Kong Pop Uyen returned to the program and we also had Suspect Sky on there discussing disclosure and other topics related to life outside our world. Can honestly say the last two shows are the best two hours of fly on the wall yet. Try to spot the incoming coronal holes in 211 angstroms. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone. Thank you.